One time I made the worst decision of my life. Okay. To call her over. Yeah. And break up with her there. So she wasted the gas to get over to my house. <laughs> and then she left. Okay. Isn't that... Because I didn't want to do it over the phone. How I thought far? That was a, it was probably, you know, four hours. Also, <laughs> you let me know when you want to start this or if we started or how we're doing it. Oh, yeah. I don't think, I don't think it's... What? Yeah, it started. Okay. Do you yeah. want to... So let me talk about the text I texted you this morning. That yeah, you let see. me hear it. So I... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's not even open. No, 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 no. That was gonna. That would have been an amazing catch. I can catch. I would have lunged. Yes, I can catch anything. I caught that. It was just a girlfriend. It was what? (laughs) (laughs) You're really good at catching feelings (laughs) (laughs) and cases. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. Let's go back to the trains thing. Oh, no, my I'm God. No, kidding. let's talk about that text you sent me. Yeah, yeah. Um, then we can go back uh, to my relationship. Yeah, I would love to, actually. So uh, the text I sent Bondi earlier was... Do you want me to read it? Or Yeah. Because I haven't read it yet. Yeah, sure. Read it out loud. Yeah, dude. I see, I see your text come in, and I'm just like... I better leave I'm just my kidding, phone bro, but unopened. You, you text me, if you text me and I am sleeping, then I will probably end up not replying to it. Only because... By the time the day starts and we get through, I'm, uh, I'm already, uh, there's already so many things on my phone. So I just let, you don't want me to say this out loud, do you? <laughs> Which one is it? The one about your landlord. <laughs> what did I say? Well, you just said, I want to move out ASAP. Yeah. Just let my cat outside. Luckily, he was still in the yard. <laughs> Well, I'll just bleep his name. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like starting to read it. And I was like, dang, I don't know if this is going to be something that he ends up listening to. Yeah. Hey, no. man, my landlord sucks ass. True. I hate that guy. Yeah. Um, no, that's, it's, uh, that sucks, man. That's scary. I feel like people don't realize if they haven't owned a cat, like cats can be smart. They can be dumb. And when they get outside, bro, it's like a whole different animal and they just go. Dude, they just go. Well, here's the thing. So obviously the roommate left the, left my cat outside and didn't know about it. So I was looking for him. Obviously scared to death because my cat's an in- indoor cat. Yep. Um, didn't want to test to see if he was an outdoor cat because there's a lot of uh, fleas in the yard already. Yeah, fleas, ticks, worms, and we had and a nasty huge stuff. problem with the fleas earlier. So we just got over it. So I didn't yep. want to take him outside. Um, but if I do move, we're gonna have a, a nice area with a you know a nice little playground. So we can actually go outside and go for walks and stuff, which would be awesome. You take your cat for walks? I would love to. I haven't, but because of I've been living in it, I don't like the area. <laughs> I just also feel like I've never seen somebody walking a cat. Oh come on! I did that it's before. A thing. I did that before, and I was just I did it because I couldn't stop laughing. I did it because I just wanted a good laugh, so I took Coco for a walk. <laughs> yeah, when I was in college, put her on a leash and took her for a walk, and she just walked like she walked like a. She 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 looked like she had a hydraulics and she like lowered her leg her body to the ground she was like down and then walked that way like army crawled the whole time we we're outside and I was like dude are you broken when we get you outside what's up yeah, you get a lee shot but literally just low rider the whole time it was hilarious that is cool yeah so I wonder what Timo would do Timo would just be regular if he just just drop it low and walk well the, the thing I'm scared about is that my fence that we have in the backyard didn't it's full of holes. Mm-hmm. So he could have gotten out, <laughs> yeah. but he was luckily sitting in the yard. So I didn't have to jump in the creek, <laughs> you know, to find him. Where? Where in the yard? And was he literally just sitting down, or what was he? Yeah, doing? he was sitting down along the fence. Okay. And so I oh. walk out there calling for him. What? He was along the fence. He was by the fence. Yeah. Ooh, looking for a way out. Oh yeah, dude. He's I'm like sure, a, he's sure like he a he's, dumb. he's like a, a felon in a prison yard, just yeah. standing by the fence like this. I had my flashlight on my phone too, to so I, I shine my flashlight on him. And you see the eyes glowing. It. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, he booked it under the uh, under the stairs, mm-hmm. and I was like, "That's not my cat," because the tail was huge. My mm-hmm. cat's smaller, mm-hmm. so I was like, "This is not my cat." But I found a cat, so that's good. And then I, I went to go see if it <laughs> was my good cat. Sign. I went to go see if it was my cat, and then it was my cat. And I'm just like, "Oh my god, my cat's out!" Yeah. And that's like obviously when I realized that he really was left outside. Right. So. The first place I checked was the backyard, thankfully. And then, yeah, I was able to bring him back inside. But 
Yeah, it, it would have been very scary, obviously, uh, to have him actually be run away. I have a microchip at least, but do you? Yeah. That's yeah, cool. it would have been difficult to get him back. I feel like, and there's a big creek right next to the yard. Yeah. So it would have been, you know, he could just go down that whole thing, see other cats. You know. Yeah. Turn it to Michael Phelps. <laughs> swim the whole channel. He'd never see Timo again because he just kept swimming. <laughs> no, I was pretty upset yesterday. Yeah. But then I, I told my mom this, and she was just like, oh, it's not that bad. I mean, ha- Coco's gotten out a number of times, you know. And, but she's never... Oh, one time, actually. still this is, this is definitely my sister's fault. And I think for some reason she still doesn't think that it is. I get home one day. I leave to go to class. She's still at the house. We, sh- we live together in college. And then I get home, like, probably eight hours later between between class and whatever else I had, like work or whatever. Wait, I hold get on. Back. You guys live together? Yeah, my sister and I in a, in a townhouse in Tallahassee. Oh, well, is it Tallahassee? So Tallahassee, it's in the yeah. south. Yeah. It's Florida, yeah. Yeah, so so it would be west of us. Oh, okay. I was thinking of West Tennessee. of where we are. I was thinking of Tennessee. That would be north of us. Tallahassee, Tennessee, that's the place, right? I cannot confirm or deny. I don't know. Tallahassee, Tennessee. We don't need to look it up. I think we do. Can you actually look up Tallahassee, New England after? I is think Tallahassee might be the capital of New England. No, it's, it's def- not. Uh, it could be. Anyways. Um, anyway, I get back so, to the house. Like <laughs> Tal- Tallahassee, bro. Tallahassee. I was thinking that. Oh, you know, wait, since me, you guys let me finish south, quickly. You know what? Oh, okay. Maybe there's a different reason you're living together. No, 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 no. We're and we're from the north, so you know we 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 oh, you don't most that, of our you don't lives. Swing that way. No, yeah, no. I don't. Whatever uh, traditions or norms, we didn't necessarily always adhere to them. But anyways, back to the story of the cat. Uh, I get back home like eight hours later. My sister had it was also gone at that point, but she left after me. And when I get home, Coco is sitting outside. And I mean, I was gone. We were both gone for a long time, and she's just sitting outside by the door. And I'm like, bro, she had to be out here for at least about four hours, doing God knows what, and ended up making her way back to the house, or just never left. But that was a scary moment. That's the only time she's been out like like that, where I got back and was just like, what are you doing outside? But yeah. it's also, I think she didn't go anywhere because she army crawls, and she's probably wildly exhausting. And so she probably made it like a few steps, army crawl, and was like, I'm going to turn around. <laughs> just army crawled her way back. It's like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, my mom told me that there would, the cats would, if they're, you know, if they're fed in that area, they'll come back. Yeah, for sure. So that, yeah, that made me feel gets, a little bit more Unless she gets, you know, jumped by other cats. Yeah. So I, I won't bash my roommate entirely. Yeah. No, we should talk about my relationships. I want to, man. I want to know what, uh, I want to know what the ideal woman is to you yeah what is the ideal woman latina okay that's a good start or mexican huge door guy <laughs> we just need to find dan adore the explorer or puerto rican okay uh hey jeff can you google puerto ricans near me <laughs> <laughs> she, person she could latina. also be spanish Versus Latinx. Uh oh, we're gonna get canceled talking about that one Is too. Is this all being recorded, Jeff? Wait, so you're looking at some. You're you you. Uh, somebody Hispanic. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, I mean that would or be Asian, amazing. or Asian, or Asian. What or about white. both? A combination. Or white. Or white. Okay. Or black. Really? You're open to all. You're open to anybody, right? You care about what's on the inside. And by inside. Elaborate, then. She's got to have qualities, and I need to know what those are. I'm curious. Okay, yeah. No, I'm I'm open to to any race, but let's think about the qualities no, of you're a not. woman. I I am. No, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. I'm just not into you're German. Lying. You have something into German people? Yeah, your heritage. Yeah, let's hear it. They're just not nice. It's a little subjective. I it's think what they're I very learned. nice. That's what I oh, learned yeah. from. Talking to German people. Okay. Like what yourself. German people do you know? Yourself. Yeah. Okay. I'm American. You're Polish. I'm American. Polish is in Germany. Poland <laughs> is in Germany. 
So, dude, <laughs> the ongoing geographical segments. <laughs> we're we're gonna have to have Dan teach a geography lesson one day. <laughs> Welcome to Geography One Hundred and One. <laughs> North America is actually south of South America. They just named them that way because Christopher Columbus got lost. <laughs> So where's South Africa? Is it south of North Africa? <laughs> or is it in Australia? <laughs> it, where's Old Zealand? Oh, is there a but new? But you didn't know. <laughs> is there a new? Have you heard of the Wallace? The what? Whales. <laughs> Wallace pronounces everything wrong. Yeah. New Wales. Um, I heard there was one shaped like a boot. <laughs> Which one's that, guys? I don't actually know. Um, so, yeah. My, no, my women um, love them to death. There's so many. So many <laughs> different types of women that I love. Uh, women, I love them to death. All of them. Yeah. All of them. There's just one problem. Okay. They're not around me. Always want what you can't have, huh? And that's the problem because you want it, but it's like you can't have it because I'm gay. (laughs) (laughs) I got to say, I think the most fun thing for me about this podcast is always going to be me trying to figure out what to say to the comments Daniel makes. (laughs) like, where do I go with that? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. People ask if we're gay. Fair I, question. Yeah. I was going to say, I should actually answer the question that I've been asked. Do you think people actually uh, actually wonder or are actually curious? Well, they think you're a power bottom. I did say that in a video one time. What position do you want to play, Bondi? Uh, linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, in, in group stunning. Group, group, studying. Studying. group <laughs> studying is a little different. That's not a position. No. Bottom. <laughs> so that's kind of my fault, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, you can't blame them. We make we make a lot of jokes. I feel like I feel like a lot of people don't joke as much as we do. And so they're like, well, okay. At this point, I feel like I, maybe they're saying something. Maybe they're telling us something. Maybe what they're saying is truthful at some point. If I just keep saying I'm gay over and over. You're gonna to start to believe it, right? Well, you know, positive. This is just to, like we're we're extremely famous and and being interviewed. Yeah, no, you know, it started as a joke, and then I made the joke so much, I actually think I made myself gay. <laughs> I started questioning it, and then I actually uh, I I I tried it, and then I liked it, and now I am it. <laughs> gay, that is. I do want to know what qualities. You talked about the ethnicities of women that you like. Yeah, no, I like all ethnicities. Except German girls. <laughs> Sorry, That's... Germans. So offensive. But anyways, Dan, what qualities do you like? The qualities... Except for those wiener schnitzel eating. <laughs> Goddamn Berlin Wall. <laughs> Can't understand what they're saying. Half-ass looking ass. Later, hose and wearing. <laughs> No, I think um Oktoberfest the- celebrating. <laughs> I'll be serious about the the women thing. Okay, yeah, because second. this could be where you find you they could they could reach out and go, "Oh my god, you literally just described me." But, so, you know, that could be a girl that is that accurate description or somebody that's a sociopath, you know. Oh my god, Dan, you described me. I know. That's the scary part <laughs> about the internet. Oh yeah, I am that way to some other Instagram f- girls. Right, but I'm completely normal. What do you mean by that? I like I'm in their DMs, like texting them every day. Are you? Yeah, and then, like, if they responded to me, it'd be like, dude, how would you I'd start a normal. conversation with a girl on Instagram that you're attracted to? What's well, the first? What's it would the go-to? Be like, I really like your. That's it. Oh, I, I like your ears. Yeah, really. They're super unique and tiny. I want to nibble them. <laughs> I just want to. Anyways. <laughs> so that's what I send to them, and then they just think I'm weird. Okay. But, you know, I wish people would do that to me more. I want to take your ears and wrap them up and give them myself for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, I'm not weird. Okay. So it's like there's got to be other people out there that aren't weird, too. 
You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think, you know, I think there's an energy that you put out there in the world and, and you attract those people. So if you're attracting weird people in your life, man, you probably got to look in the mirror. And see myself? As weird. Or gay. Sorry, I was trying to play dumb there. Is it still going? Yeah, I don't think we can hear the door. That's cool. No audio waves. Yeah, good. <laughs> so, yeah, the women I'm into is going to be... Or? You know, anyone with... Uh... <laughs> I don't like men no more. I will love a women's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of like... As long as they have, you know, it's just, it's just the minimum has got to be like, you know, that's all I need. Do I know though? <laughs> no, I mean, she's got to be, she's got to like, to be a woman. You sure about that? Keeping it awfully vague. She got all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> okay, she's got to look like a woman. Okay, <laughs> you know, if she doesn't turn out to be a woman at the end of it, then it's like my fault. Love is love, huh? Love is love. There you go, Dan. Well said. We got there. Proud of you. I, but was, no. I was watching this anime. Oh God. Okay. And the the main character uh, started liking this girl. But the girl that he likes poses as a guy. Okay. So he starts to contemplate. He's like, I think I like her. I mean him. I think I like him. He's just like, she's the she's the man with Amanda Bynes. Right, right, right. Bynes? Exactly. Amanda Bynes. And then, and then he's like, uh, I guess I'm gay. But he was true to his feelings. And she right. turned out to be a woman. Mine just turned out to be a man. <laughs> Your love story is the opposite of that. I thought it, yeah, I thought it was a woman. It turns out to be a man. I was actually in love with a man. No, I really like, um, you know, that masculine energy in women. <clears throat> Do you know? Like dominant? Yeah, you know, it's it's also like, I like when they're strong. Okay. Physically or mentally? Physically. Okay. Mentally and, weak, physically strong? Yeah, and I also like it when they have a lot of hair. <laughs> I think you like dudes. <laughs> Physically strong and hairy. <laughs> Dude, what about like, what about like more personality qualities? You like them to be emotional, not emotional. You like them to be, uh, you know, creative, like artistic or business savvy you like them to be outdoorsy or just want to i like you know, them when be inside i like them when they're mean <laughs> okay just aggressive i like when they are a higher risk of prostate cancer i like it when they have ed <laughs> <laughs> that way I'm medical the only problems that only apply to men i don't have to try dude that's so funny actually you describe your perfect woman and you're just describing a dude <laughs> The whole time, <laughs> and you just go, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no! Wow. I think I'm describing a dude. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, wow. I didn't see that the whole time. <laughs> so, oh man. My perfect woman. Okay. No, no. She's definitely, you know, got to have long hair. Okay. She's got to have eyelashes. <laughs> Dude, absolutely got to have eyebrows. Absolutely got to have eyebrows. And you know what I really like about women? Teeth. <laughs> got to have those. <laughs> Fingers? Ten of them. Got to. <laughs> so I think my favorite part about a woman okay. is uh -oh. 
Well, let me think about it. Okay. Because <laughs> I haven't been thinking about the real answer the whole time. <clears throat> I think the real answer is going to be, she's got to be able to laugh. Okay. Well, Humor. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. That was, that was, that was sweet. And she's got to have big chest muscles. <laughs> I mean, she just has to have pecs. pecs. She's got to hit. She, bro, I'm sorry, but how are you going to ask for your woman to have something you don't? Shots fired. <laughs> Look, man, this is what they say: opposites attract. I want to put my head on hit her chest. <laughs> I want to put my head <laughs> on their large hairy chest. <laughs> they theirs hairy chest. Yeah, that's a good one. The humor is a good one. You see, that was uh, yeah. That's, that let's was come up real. With a couple more. Real. Yeah, no, humor is definitely ones. a big one. So you want a funny Asian woman? I. <laughs> you want? <laughs> no, it de- definitely doesn't have to be Asian. Okay, okay. She but can be preferably, anything. Preferably, <laughs> no. Preferably Hispanic. I think so. I think preferably Hispanic because I think they're the. I think they're most the most attractive. But they're also the most. Devious. Oh, I was so excited for what he was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And when you say devious, what do you mean? I mean, <laughs> no, I poppy, mean, they're no, just. Poppy, no, Poppy, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, A obviously. Funny they, Hispanic, huh? They obviously uh, f- usually know to speak Spanish. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> dude, lobbing and, the most vague things out there. Yeah, ever. and it's obviously I don't know how to speak Spanish, so it's always going to be a sensitive thing for me to not be able to understand what the family's saying about me. You wouldn't learn. I mean, Dan I learning started Spanish? so late. Hola, <laughs> cómo estás? Bien at two. El baño. <laughs> Where is El Bano? <clears throat> Donde esta El Bano? Bano, Bano. Am I po- saying that right, honey? Oh, des en pollo. Starts Where's w- the fridge? <laughs> <laughs> Donde esta the refrigerator? <laughs> Donde esta all my snacks? <laughs> Honey, when he gets angry, starts trying to speak Spanish. <laughs> Donde esta all the men? Where'd they go? What's going on with El Pool Boy? Oh. They're getting it. The Why way. is he half naked? Donde esta? <laughs> How come no hablo English? <laughs> No hablar. No hablo. No hablar. Español. Do you know how to speak Spanish? <clears throat> Is it what you asked me? Yeah. <laughs> Ask me one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that we have Jeff here who can't speak Spanish. Do you know how to speak Spanish? It makes it much better. <laughs> si, señor. <laughs> si, un poco. Señor. Un poco. Um, <clears throat> actually? Yes, of course. Really? All like fluently? Nah. Yeah, no, not fluently. But he, knows he can understand sound, Spanish though. very well. Yeah, he knows enough. You can understand it. Yeah, like Okay. I can live in a, in a Japanese country. Like, I could. I mean, I've listened already. I mean, I know that when they call me dumb. <laughs> Wait, what was it again? How did they say it? How did they say dumb? Baka. How much Japanese do you actually know? Uh, one, Hyundai. two, and then I know, uh, um, El Baño. <laughs> <laughs> I know a few, uh, they just have to say it. Soka, bro, you know how we always make. I was telling, nah, I, was, I feel like we, uh, 
I do accents so much that at this yeah. point in time, they are actually, you know, they're they're decent. And I was reading a fortune cookie at a Chinese restaurant one time, and it was it like teaches you sometimes how to speak Chinese or like say Chinese phrases. And it was ni hao, and I was like ni hao ma, <laughs> and the woman was like, she looked over and she was just like, you speak Chinese? And I was like, <laughs> no, she was like, that was really good. I was like, oh my god. I was being you're getting, funny, yeah, you're getting speaking so with a Chinese offensive. accent so offensively right. that it sounded convincing. That's such a and good trait. And I was trait. like, dude, <laughs> thank you so yeah, much. Most yeah, most people was like, opposite. that was good. I was like, hmm. Well, you think about it. When people speak a different language like English, if they can speak English, but like they don't, they don't know how to put the right emphasis on the right syllables. You know what I mean? So it sounds weird. It's English, but like it's not how you would say it. And I feel like when we speak Spanish or Chinese, like we don't say it how they would say it. But like if you're pretending to have a Chinese accent, then it's more convincing. Yeah, for and sure. And that was a funny moment because she, she turned around and was just like, that was really good. And I was like, dude, I was being so offensive. Yeah. I'm glad that you took it as my pronunciation being good. Well, I don't think – maybe she didn't I think wasn't it was offensive. offensive. Yeah, yeah I mean I wasn't trying think. to be. It was it's, just, it's offensive to us because we know we don't speak like that. Right. So, so maybe to her, right. she thought you were a great person. Just trying. So you know? Yeah, right. That's lovely. <laughs> but it's lovely in all thing. reality, you were making fun of them. I was being a dick. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we don't have much progress there, but you being a dick all the time. <sighs> it's hard, man. It's a hard stick to keep up. Yeah. Maybe well, we are. let me finish on my qualities of a woman. I would love, yeah, I would love to. This has brought on so many different side conversations. It really has. We have, the first one is humor. Okay, that's the first real one. Yeah, that's the first real one. The second real one, and we'll get to the third in about 20 minutes. The second real one is going to be, I think... (laughs) I don't like the way that you're putting your hands. It's well, I don't like the way that your hands are, what they're doing. I think it's going to be... I don't like the finger guns. <laughs> Desert Eagle now. Oh, yeah? Bang, bang? It's got to be, kill? you know, it's... <clears throat> the thing is, yeah, I don't you, really know many others. Because there's obviously loyalty, right? Okay, but great, yep. I don't know if I care that much. Okay. Because I've been in a relationship kind of like that before. An unloyal relationship? Uh, no. It was, uh, she was already, she already had a partner. Well, that sounds juicy. Yeah. You and were so in a relationship guy, with somebody that already had a... Yeah, the guy, the girl was dating the guy. Okay. And then I stepped in. Okay. It's kind of like the young, because the guy was older. The young buck? Yeah, she, she she was like thirty. I was like already 19. had the old bull. Now she wants a young calf. Yeah, so okay, yeah. that's kind of like what the dynamic was. Okay, and then she obviously the guy knew about me. Okay, okay, but yeah. we never met until afterwards. Oh, you did meet him after, yeah. After what? The relationship was over. Uh, no, I don't think so. Well, it might have been. No, I don't know. That seems like an interesting timeline to get. But started. yeah, no, we we met. Yeah, it was um, we met at this uh, uh gym. Okay. I don't know if I want to describe it too much because it's going to kind of give it away. Okay, where where the gym was? No, like what the gym was for. <laughs> Obviously, I could just say it now. <laughs> what? But, this is such a spiral. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. He was um, he was in the navy. Okay. So he's this army guy. He's ripped, super attractive. Okay. I almost could have gone for him. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, we. I met him. He was a super nice guy. We didn't really have too much conversation. Okay. But yeah, we were like learning acro stunts together. So he he wanted to learn, and obviously I know already already know how to do cheer stuff. So yeah, I was basically showing him how to do it. He was a nice guy. Nothing, no weird conversation went ha- happened. I feel like it would have come up inevitably. Yeah, maybe if I talked to him longer. Yeah. But I, mean, I had that situation happen and I didn't quite know how to feel. I thought I was fine. But I mean, I guess in my head, she wasn't going to be, you know, my 
wife w- wife material okay yeah. you know so maybe that's why i didn't care as didn't much because yeah. it wasn't gonna she wasn't gonna be my, my wife yeah interesting that is interesting yeah but i, I guess the, she's how long definitely did that go loyal. on for it was it wasn't <clears throat> long. Okay. my all my relationships are short my longest one was it for six months wow seems yeah. like there's a common denominator there yeah you know, when it comes to relationship stuff, I have learned a lot in the past three years. Have you? Yes. And I took it upon myself to put your head down and develop yourself as a king. And yes, I'm going to be a king. Yeah? You know, right now I'm a knight. Okay. I can knight jump, to E5. Yeah, I can jump around the board. Okay. You know, but I can't quite... Are you, though? I'm a knight. Yeah, but are you jumping around the board? I feel like you're just staying in the same square. <laughs> I'm jumping around. I have the power to jump. Maybe I don't choose to jump. Okay, okay. Fair. I got the power to jump though. Okay. It's just it's all so about jump. the Are you feeling froggy or what? You know what? I'm gonna jump fe- tonight. Are you? Yes. When I go out with Jeff. <laughs> Me and Jeff are gonna go out. Then you're gonna land a dude. <laughs> Look, Jeff is going to be I'm the kidding. one that okay, decides who Jeff, it is. Jeff, Jeff's a great wingman. So yeah. I, you got everything you need. He's going to scope okay. it out first, <laughs> and he's going to tell me if it's a dude or not. Bro, what, this is this SEAL Team 6? It's Well, it's, <laughs> it's it has to do with the stage fright. You're giving me code signs. Yeah, and you're just gonna you're just gonna drop, and you're gonna army crawl your way around to the right position in the bar. And I you're am just a worm. <laughs> I am a wiggly worm. Anyway, I... Hello. What the... I'm expressing interest. I am not a threat. I am a worm. I'm a worm before you. Oh my god, someone finally using the worm method. (laughs) The worm technique. He's using the worm technique. That's so hot. (laughs) (laughs) I love that video. Yeah, so um, (laughs) I'll find me a guy tonight. I'll find me a girl tonight. (laughs) I'm going to be with my guys finding girls. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Or maybe with my girls finding guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just tonight out with the girls. Yeah, so we got loyalty, <clears throat> and then we're going to have also some... Element. <laughs> Thanks for sponsoring the, the video from before. They got to be a little salty. They got to be. Those uh, Spanish girls... They're what about fitness? Salty. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's a good question. She's got to be fit, okay, humorous, mm-hmm. and um, glamorous. I, I had to be physically attracted. Yeah, I think I have a difficulty because all my relationships have been physical, uh-huh. physically. Like I've always been physically attracted to them. Okay, <clears throat> but obviously, it's always started with the lust first. Okay, and not. The personality. Okay, yeah, that definitely seems like a Common. red flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it always seems like a good idea. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? It always seems like I can deal with her personality. Okay. But, you know, obviously I can't because I break up with them in six months. They, You, you have broken up with all of them. I'm just saying that I know... When the future isn't going to work out, so I just cut it off right now. Just pull the plug. Yeah. Look, this thing's dying. Let's be real. This thing's dying. It's on life support. Look, it's got not. There's no will. It doesn't <laughs> have any family. Look, let's be real here. Let's just pull it. Let's just pull it. You and I, together. Let's pull it together. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be together. I would just send a text. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I would call her. Would you? One time I made the worst decision of my life. Okay. To call her over. Yeah. And break up with her there. So she wasted the gas to get over to my house. <sighs> and then she left. Okay. Isn't that because I didn't want to do it over the phone because I thought far? that was a, it was probably, you know, four hours. I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. It was, it was like, like if you had somebody drive four hours just for that. It was like twenty minutes. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, do you that's think that was a good move? Yeah, for sure. Really? Like, yeah. She wasted gas. They could have just told her over the phone. Yeah, I don't. I think there's something a little more meaningful to me. Like, I want to look you in the eyes in person and tell you this, so that you don't think that I'm trying to evade it. 
you know it'd be so terrible though just walking up to your boyfriend's house (coughs) being like i can't wait to hang out and then he's like look i'm breaking up with you go home and then you leave and that's the last time you know it's the last time you're walking out of the door you take all the things you have left there you're like well i guess let me just get some of this stuff i have here (laughs) and you're like stop oh my god you want to know why i'm breaking up with you this Stop <laughs> talking. You're so it's annoying. It's all the blubbering. Oh my god. The blubber Speaking fest. of blubber, you're putting on some pounds. <laughs> <I've>... <laughs> <sighs> Holy cow. Literally just trying to Literally. paint out the picture of how not to handle that situation. Yeah, not how not to do it. Just so you just in case you guys were wondering. That's how you don't do it. Right. Dude, some it's you just got to you got to rip off the band-aid and it's like telling somebody they got something in their teeth. Look. You got something in your teeth. Get it out. There's no Cuz it takes too long. They're like, "What? What?" She gets it out. I'm like, "I don't no. love you anymore." <laughs> That's how you start it. <laughs> hey. Like, hey, you have something on your shirt. Sorry. Look down. Boom, I don't love you. <laughs> Also, wow, I just flicked your nose. It's so heavy. (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever thought about making some money to shrink that down? (laughs) Because maybe I would stay with you. (laughs) But right now, there's something holding us down in the relationship. What is that, the source of all hurricanes in the United States? Dude. Oh my god. Oh wow. I didn't realize you have the quite the schnoz. <laughs> quite the schnoz. <laughs> you walk her up to the door and you just open it, you go, oh, oh. <laughs> it's big, like slap a her ass to get out. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. Why'd you find another man with that schnoz over here? <laughs> Wow, dude, that's it. That's how you end it, too. You never talked about that a day in your relationship. Close the door. She can still hear you. Be like, my God. It was with Big Bird. (laughs) My God. Dude, what was I thinking? (laughs) That's damn. That's the best thing. Just knowing knowing she's right there behind the door. (laughs) One of my favorite was when uh, Ronnie walked right into the bathroom when everyone's like having privates outside in the gym. (laughs) And so there's music playing. The bathroom's (laughs) right next to the gym. Ronnie walks into the bathroom and just (laughs) rips Dude, it was the second the door. Like, it it was like, (laughs) boom. The entire gym. And we all just go, oh, oh, wow. It Bro, was that the was second so he walked in. funny. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell I was like on the way to the bathroom. He's like, dude, I got it. He kind of hit a fast waddle because he's like, this is coming out. Door clicks and it just immediately like go. Oh. And it was, he had to be right there. Like his butt was against the door because it was like, it was still open. That was so funny. <laughs> we all were like, you. It's like midway of the door closing, so it's like (laughs) it just (laughs) walks out immediately. Yeah. Oh no, I just had to wash my hands. (laughs) It's so funny how unprivate those things are. I know. If like you actually have to whiff one. Yeah. One of my favorites. One of my favorite videos. Is when the guy tries to cover his fire with the cough <laughs> and he's in the elevator, he's like <laughs> <laughs> Is that a YouTube video? Yeah, yeah. The guy, see, can we and see the that? guys and the guys were like Dude. Um, they were like, Dude, seriously? <laughs> you Yo. try to cover that up with a cough? <laughs> it was Bro, so farts, off. Farts are so funny. <laughs> I don't care who says it. Farts are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find it already? It doesn't look like it's oh my in God, an that's elevator. It. Is it? Oh, wait, that is an elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> <coughs>
Are you gonna act like that was a cop? Sorry. Sorry. No, seriously, get up, get up. Get out of here. It's already Dude, in there. You can't. So, say that one more time. You can't kick Dude, him out it was if he's so early. That's so funny. You can't kick him out though if he's already in there. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> the fact that Dude, you always gotta give it some leeway. Like you gotta try to let the fart go a little early so you can cough at the same time. Right. Dude, that is so just <laughs> Yeah, it's so that good. That is so funny. Now, I wanted to ask, what was your actual, uh, what are your qualities in a woman? So, obviously, I don't know if you want to talk about that you have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I'm completely opposed to people knowing I have a girlfriend. <laughs> That's all part of my plan. Yeah, so what okay. What should we say her name? Obviously, everyone knows. Jen, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so what, it, what are the qualities that, you know, you like in Jen the most? I think... In all seriousness, it's a combination of like maturity and immaturity. You know, like people. I feel like that has to do with the humor too. Well, right, and I think a lot of people are immature not by choice; they're just immature. And then there's people who are mature, but they can choose when to be immature in like a humorous way. And I feel like you got to be able to have a balance. And then you also have to be, for me, this they have to be driven. The person's absolutely got to be driven, like self-motivated. If you have no self-motivation, I just don't want anything to do with you. I mean, you have to be motivated to even hang out with you as a friend. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Because you can't talk to you unless you're working. <laughs> so it's you, you, you learn as a friend of yours that you need to be like, oh, I got to work progress my career if i ever want to have a chance to talk to my friend <laughs> it's just uh it's just a tier level you know everybody at a certain tier i'm like <laughs> what's that face for not talking to him <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding yeah. no, that makes no sense. I, for, for somebody i'm going to spend my life with and yeah. a lot of hours of my life with definitely need to be I think it's important for friendships too, but obviously relationships, being intimate and, you know, kind of tackling life with another person and raising children, having a family, all of that. I, I definitely like that's something very serious. And I feel like a lot of people are quick to not analyze. Uh, here I am talking about, you know, we're talking about marriage, giving relationship advice, but I feel like people are super quick to not analyze other people that they're in relationships with. And just like, you love that. Like you said, you're, you oftentimes are attracted to certain people. Everybody has like the honeymoon face. And then, um, you know, that's not the real person. You're putting on your best, your best version of yourself. And then you slowly get to know somebody over time. But like that slow progression of learning about somebody takes a long time. It takes a long time because we don't even know who we are. I mean, we're still all learning about who we are and how we react to things and what we like and what we don't like and how we want to live life. So I just think it's crazy. People meet and then just like instantly you're like, yeah, cool. Let's uh, do this. I'm like. You know, that sounds familiar to one of my relationships. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where you had that dynamic. Yeah. I met her for a day. And then you guys started dating. Yep. That's true. How long did that relationship last? That was a six month one. <laughs> <laughs> it lasted the longer. No way. Yeah. Well, I actually don't know how you guys met. How we met in Mexico. Mm, romantic. Yeah, yeah. So we were both competing. Okay. For partner stunt. Yep. And then uh, met her there for two days and then uh, moved to Australia. That is, that's wild. Well, here's the thing. The, the reason I went there was because I was at UCF and I dropped out of UCF. I had no idea what to do with my life. Obviously, I wanted to. I dropped out because I wanted to pursue YouTube, and at the time, I was doing YouTube tutorials mm -hmm. for stunting, and obviously, that's not going to get me anywhere. So I was in the rut of not getting anywhere, and I know I wasn't going to get anywhere with this on my YouTube career. So for one, I dropped out of college. For two, my YouTube career isn't going anywhere. For three, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to go to Australia because... Now, here's the thing. I didn't go for no reason. Okay. I definitely 100% mainly win for the girl. Okay. But the the second thing is she gave me the opportunity of doing Bring It On The Musical. Okay. And so that's what allowed me to go. Did you sing in that? Dude, they tried to get us to sing, but we were cheerleaders. Right. But we got paid for it, so we're doing it. That's Make it. Make sense?
you were at that point in your life. Yeah, Anything no, I'll you do get anything. paid for. You do I mean, it. when you're a, a freelancer, basically yeah. what yeah. I was, you're gonna do anything, right? And yep. cheerleading obviously has this concept that everyone, you know, only the people who are in cheer like. No one else does. Right. You know what I mean? Um, so it's like you got to do what has always been done. and But that's what I wanted to switch to the channel is to show people the, the other side of it, which is what we have. Yeah. You know, we enjoy the side. Not a lot of people see it. Right. So now we get to show it a little bit and more people have seen it, which is fantastic. But yeah, I went for the girl and then she gave me the opportunity to make money going there. So I was like, okay, if I have both of these, I can at least try it out. Right. And that's uh, the thing that my therapist told me is that I asked him about this because I was talking to him like every week when, when I was in uh, school because it was difficult to stay in it and finish out the year instead of just doing a semester. Yeah. Uh, and he told me that, look, man, you never, I know this is a very common quote, but he said, you know, you're never going to know unless you try. And I took that to heart. I told him the whole spiel about how much I like her. <coughs> mm -hmm. And I was like, I know this is a dumb decision. I'm not doing anything else. Like, what if I did it? Right. You know? And then he was like, you're never going to know if you don't try. So, yeah, I ruined my life for three years. But, not, but you tried it. I figured it out. Look at that. If I didn't go there, though, I would not have uh, started this channel. Yeah, yeah, I think it's cool. It's a fact. I, I think that's cool that that's how that's how things happen. It's just everything that seemingly is. Well, it's it's a very stoic idea. The obstacle is the way, where the uh, you know impediment to action um, is basically action itself, which is cool. And that's exactly what you experience, and that's how a lot of people experience things. But a lot of people get deterred by that, and then they stop. And it's like, oh, if you just kept going, you would have ultimately been on the right path. Exactly. That's it's, dif it's difficult to, to do. It's difficult to see. Yeah, there's a lot of things where I'm like, I'm scared to make the decision, to have this like sort of uh, scared to obviously make a mistake. Yeah. But it's like we're so young that if we make a mistake – Oh, we got so much time to make up at for least that mistake. We, at least we know about it, and we cannot do it again. Oh, yeah. Instead of just never tr and never trying anything and being afraid of all the mistakes. Oh, absolutely. You know? I mean, I'm so happy I did it. Yeah. I'm so happy I did it. Yeah. Obviously, I would have been probably back home in Wisconsin if I didn't do it, and that would be bad. Yeah? No, I wouldn't want that. Well, the thing, there's nothing bad. With, I, I love Wisconsin. I would love to live there. Yeah. But, like, I can't develop my career there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. So I have to be around where the good cheerleaders are, which is in the South. Yep. So I stayed here in Florida because I knew people here because I went to UCF. <clears throat> For a year, yeah. So, yeah. Just always got to clarify that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But... At some point when I'm rich and famous and yeah. I don't have to like make the videos as much anymore, yep. I can, uh, or maybe we do a different type of stuff, Yeah. which I plan to work with you for a long time. Yeah. Uh, maybe I can go back home to Wisconsin more, some more. Absolutely. But yeah, that'd be great. I've you never know, been. You've never been in Wisconsin? Nope. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's not much. Yeah. I have no desire to go. I'm, I'm not going. <laughs> No, I won't go. I'm actually going to make that a point to never go. We're going right. to know each other for the next 40 years. I'm never. I'm not going to step foot in Wisconsin. <laughs> Mark right. my words. Thanks for watching. That's it. Well, I, uh, I was going to say is that did you know we were already been over an hour? I I did not until I saw what time it was in your phone. Yeah. And I was like, wow. Yeah. When I looked at it, as I said it was an hour. I was like. We already talked for an hour. Yeah, that's crazy. That went by so fast. I know it did. But yeah, that's probably a good place to end. Yeah. I'm going to wrap it up. Yeah. Give him about an hour and just peace out. Can't believe I told him about my relationship like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're gay. <laughs>